me the best tower in all of battles 2 or was the best tower. Yes, the attack shooter was nerfed in the most recent update to BTD Battles 2, and here's exactly what was changed. The 400 Ring of Fire Pierce used to be 60, and now it is 45. The 420 Ring of Fire Cross Path Pierce used to be 80, and now it is 60. And finally, the 004 Overdrive used to be 3200, and now it is 3400. Note, a bug was fixed where the 500 attack shooter was only applying the bonus damage to ceramic and Moab class balloons, not the base damage. Fixing this has given the 500 upgrade a plus 8 increase in damage against ceramic and Moab class balloons. And they continued saying, tax still feels a little bit too strong overall, so we are making some small changes to its tier 4 upgrades that have proven to be efficient. Alongside this, the bug fix should provide a noticeable buff to Inferno Ring's late game power. So with that being said, we're going to be showcasing these changes in today's video to see if the Tax Shooter is still the best tower in all of Battles 2. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. And it looks like our opponent is going to be starting off with the Tax Shooter as their first popping power tire. Whereas we instead, we got Scientist Gwendolyn, and we're also gonna go for an attack shooter ourselves. I, I think right up here, okay? But Scientist Gwendolyn is actually pretty good right from the jump, and at two, it ensures that we're gonna have her right at the start of round one, and not after round two starts. So we'll get that little bit of extra XP, although I think two red balloons got through. Okay, that kind of sucks. I literally might set down an attack shooter just to ensure that we had the life advantage. Because uh, the life advantage on Thin Ice is actually pretty important, I'd argue. So, yeah, we're going to... Oh, oh my god. There's no... Yep. 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 Y you guys saw nothing. And it looks like he has the wizard as his next pop and power tower. I can't remember what his hero is. Oh, I think it's Quincy. I don't know why he has yet to set down Quincy. Because Quincy also happens to be a pretty good hero. Uh, during the earlier game round. So we definitely should have capitalized on that. Also, he's been max decoying yet. He has a tag shooter directly at the start of the map. Popping the AI balloons right as they come out. So these rounds are just absolutely flying by. Which isn't too ideal for us. But uh, again, there, there's just nothing that we can do about his tag shooter placement. Uh, I'm going to go for the faster shooting here. The second he sends me space whites... I'm going to have to either use my level 3 cocktail ability or go for the even faster shooting upgrade on this tax shooter. Oh my god, we weren't even able to hit 500 eco before the start of round 6. That is not good pace, especially for a map like this. Let's go for that even faster shooting upgrade though. And there he finally goes again with Quincy. Dirtling 2! Okay, so this guy's strategy is kind of all over the place. We're about to get the life advantage though. Yep, we got the first plot. Okay, don't die because that is not the goal. He did tower boost. We're going to get back to sending group to yellows here, actually. Uh, just to increase our eco even more. And then at the start of round eight, we'll get back to sending space black eco, okay? And you guys already know, the main objective for today's video is to showcase the newly nerfed tax shooter. Arguably the best tower in all of Battles 2 before this update. But is it still, in fact, the best? We're going to be finding just that out with today's video. Which, by the way, we are using the amazing strategy. Of Science Gwen, TAC, Village, Glue. TAC happens to be the main DPS tower within this strategy. So we're definitely going to be showcasing some love for it. And that's going to involve us using pretty much every single uh, path of the TAC shooter as well. Okay, that's the good thing and the nice thing about using this strategy. All the paths get love. So we're definitely going to be going for a Ring of Fire actually specifically uh, for these mid game rounds. Which we can actually start building up now. Now, if you remember from the patch notes, the 420 cross path got a pierce reduction, not the 402. So we're definitely just going to be using that instead. Although we also do need some juicy, juicy cam detection. So uh, we don't actually have enough money for that just yet. Um, don't send me anything. Just, just give me a little bit more time. He's, he's trying. He's trying. It, it's not going to work. Okay. Are some of those balloons going to get through? Nothing got through right there. Balloon boosted group purples. I didn't even send any space remembers there, by the way, because I was kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of scared, but we were able to defend without having to tower boost. Um, the main objective with this strategy, by the way, it is a late game oriented strategy. So 
I I'm trying to go late game, although... Are we really in a position to even win? I mean, he has Necromancer, Tax Shooter. We probably could have maybe won, but again, I want to go late game. But despite the Ring of Fire, the 400 Ring of Fire, so without even cross path in it, it got a Pierce Reduction. Remember, again, the middle path got a Pierce Reduction as well. But despite that, we were still able to handle constant purples right there. Or not really constant purples. It was pretty inconsistent. But as long as you have a Tax Shooter that can pop off that purple layer before it hits the Ring of Fire, then you're absolutely fine. That's the problem or issue with the Ring of Fire. I can't pop purple balloons. So if you just have, you know, a 230 attack shooter like we do right here to pop those purples first, the Ring of Fire will clean up the rest. But of course, during these mid-game rounds, we're just gonna simply be equine with grouped black balloons. Um, he's not currently sending us anything, so he he definitely easily could send us rush. Oh no, not with the purples again, my friend. It, it didn't work the first time. It's not going to work now. But you know what we probably should do? We actually probably should switch out this tax shooter right here with instead an overdrive, which, remember from the patch notes, the overdrive got a price nerf, only costing $200 more. So it's not bad by any means, but technically it still costs more. But we still should have enough money, hopefully, for that. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, you just went for HRP. With the wrong cross path, God, I hate when people cross path their Hydro Rocket Pots with the bottom path. It's just like one of my icks. But let's sell this tax shooter now. Let's replace it and let's start going for that overdrive. Okay, wait, we're fine here. Okay, overdrive now. I'll probably target this down here. So yeah, use level 3 ability. Are we fine here? Okay, don't worry. Do not worry, do not worry. Okay. I sold that. Oh my god, please. 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 I can't put this back down. Oh my god. I literally, I, I couldn't put it back down. I could not put that back down. Okay, just clean that up for me. Did it. Oh my god. I can't put this overdrive back here. Please. Okay. We, we got it. Oh my lordy lord. I, I almost fumbled the freaking bag right there, but we are in fact still alive. He's going to try to send us another rush. Okay, we're fine here. We got double overdrive this time, baby. We got double overdrive. Ring of Fire should be able to clean up the Cerams, right? No, it wasn't able to fully. Okay, don't worry. Do not worry. Pop it all down. Did I leak a life? Okay, he has, he doesn't have a tower that can regen his lives anyway, so we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We didn't even leak a life, so so we're chilling. I hate this tax shooter spot, but it is what it is. I panicked. We probably could have also done this years ago, but I never went for a 0-2-2 glue down here to just stall out these balloons. So that's definitely a misplay on my behalf. But this game has kind of been all over the place. And now all of a sudden we're lagging. Should I even be setting Zebra Eco here? Uh, probably not, actually. Yeah, I, I shouldn't be. What am I doing? What I need to be doing is actually going for a bottom path village here. So... Maybe, maybe actually I'll go for the bottom path more up here. Okay, never mind. He said this is the OMG, which how do we want to defend against this? It's truly the question of all time. I'm thinking we, we go for a glue more down here. This could be our eventual super glue. So we can go for a mob glue right now, actually, just to like help slow that down a little bit. And then we, we could do multiple things. We could just overdrive spam. Can we find another overdrive in here? Does not look like it. Okay, we could buff these taxers though. So let's go for the primary mentoring actually. So we can make these upgrades a bit cheaper. So there we go with that. Okay, go for that. Wait, I've got like no money. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Should be good here. That lag actually helped us out. That actually helped us out. Are we fine here, though? Are we? Are we? Are we? I need to get this overdrive back in this spot. We're probably just going to have the Maelstrom this again, which is okay. Yeah, I'll use another Maelstrom. And we should, in fact, be good there. Okay, some balloons are going to get through. That's okay, though. I I'm honestly... I I'm not worried about it. Oh, wait. What? We really leaked that many lives down to 81? No, now he has the life advantage. No! No! There's no way we leaked that many lives, right? How are we still leaking? We're down to 59. 58. Wait, what? Okay, he could send his DDTs here, by the way. Yep. Oh, my God.
I'm ending this game. I'm ending it. I'm ending it right here, right now. Balloon boost, you're dead. You're just dead. I'm, I'm over the lag. I'm, I'm over all of it. Yep, level 10. Nothing will save you. Nothing will save you, my friend. All right, so we're in the next game here. It's round 11 currently. We still don't have enough of the Ring of Fire, which is kind of scary, but our opponent has Age of Jericho as their hero. So we had to go for the Radar Scanner Village kind of earlier on. Oh my god, I got to go for this immediately. Okay, round 12 is here. Use up all of our money. All right, with the Ring of Fire now, we, we, we should be chilling, okay? Although our eco is like complete freaking garbage right now. Again, I just had to go for this so early on. I had to stop ecoing because... I didn't want to leak too, too many lives to all the camo AI balloons, of course. But I don't even know what the heck the last game was. I'm so sorry y'all had to witness it. It literally was all over the freaking place. Barely had enough money to go for the super glue. So I had to play another one for y'all for sure. Because we actually didn't even get to showcase the only buff that was applied to the tax shooter, which happens to be involved in the Inferno ring. Because now that simply just does more damage. So we're definitely going to make sure that we utilize that. Uh, but for the most part, we did see the overdrives in action. I mean, it's just a price nerf, so there's nothing different damage-wise, just price-wise. Wait, why is he trying to send me regen ceramics, by the way? First of all, I have regrow blocker um, with having this village right here. Second of all, I have a ring of fire, which shreds ceramics, so that, that was not the play. But look at how much less money we have when Agent Jericho's in the game. And Eco, like... I'm just now hitting 1300 eco, and it's about to be round 17. I'm gonna have to worry about mob class balloons, so like, I'm in a sticky situation, kind of. No pun intended, of course. But seriously though, like, do I do I sell this here then? I, I think I do. I think I sell this to go for instead an overdrive, or eventual overdrive, so yeah. I think a 203 should be fine against normal mob class balloons, but then in regards to um, fortified mobs, then we're definitely gonna need that overdrive upgrade, okay? And I could always sell this glue for, what, $300? Wow. So we're not even gonna sell that. I mean, <laughs> unless I absolutely need the money. $300 is not that much, of course. I mean, we could always be aggressive towards him, too. He's kind of greeting over on his side, so should we? I think we should, especially because he just started stealing our cash, too, so... Let's do that, and let's see how he reacts. We could probably transition into Pink Eco as well. Wow, he's kind of more worried about his defense than his side. What the heck is going to pop that, dude? Um, hello? Is he going to go for artillery battery? Or is, it, he's, is he just straight up going to die? What? What? Bro, are, are you good, bro? What? He did go for artillery battery, but like 10 years late? What the heck? I swear, we always somehow end up on this map. But yes, we are on the map Thin Ice. And it's looking like we're in a pretty good spot right now. This guy... He hasn't sent us a single rush. He's been eco in the entire game, and he's using Bomb Village. So, it's looking like his strategy is late game oriented. By the way, I could definitely start sending Group Zebra Eco here, I think. So, let's get to doing that. Let's go for an overdrive as well. We already got up the Monkey City upgrade, too, on the bottom path of the village right here. So, we are making unbelievable pace right now when it comes to our eco game and we're gonna see if he sends us a zomg here on round 22 like i said he hasn't been aggressive so i think we're in the clear to even eco with constant group purples oh my goodness yes i think i think we can in fact uh pull this off although he did just stop eco nope wait he's back to it okay we could have stalled out these rounds too by the way with the bottom path glue kind of forgot to do that again but Hey, better late than never. He's also sending us constant group purples as well. So we got to make sure that we're going to be fine here. So I'm actually going to go for another village directly below Science Gwen right here. Because I'm thinking we'll, we'll probably go for a primary training right here. Okay, yes, it can buff this tax shooter because this ultimately will probably be my tax zone. I'm not sure if it's actually the best spot for it though. Maybe right here actually because it does cover more range right here. So I might do that. And we'll switch out this eventually to a spot that's not as important. So, like, maybe all the way down here, okay? And I'll have our super glue right here. I could technically even go for the Monkeyopolis, but we don't know if he's going to rush us. Spike Factory! Spike Factory is his last tower. Okay, so he can't regen his lives in any way, shape, or form. So, we do, in fact, have that going for us. Are we able to defend against that? Yes, we are. And, yeah, I don't know if I want to pull the trigger on the Monkeyopolis here. Because, again, he could easily send us one DDT. Uh, this is within the range of this. I'll probably end up upgrading this to a primary expertise. 
And then we'll go for as many taxes as we can inside the range. Look, our eco game is so freaking good, guys. 7,500 eco for round 27. That is nuts. And then we'll go for the Monkeyopolis here finally now. That can produce us a little bit more money, so why not? And round 30 is in fact here. We're about to hit 10,000 eco. Yeah, this game's easily going around 40, so... We're, we're just going to prepare our defenses, go for as many tax shooters as we can inside the range of the primary expertise since they will be buffed and the upgrades are a bit cheaper. Actually, up to tier 2 upgrades are free, so... Yeah, we definitely want to make sure that we prioritize these tax shooters first. And I'll probably go for the Inferno Ring right here. Oh my god, wait, that range is cracked. Scratch that. I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move it to maybe... Oh my god, I don't even know where I want this. I guess down here, even though the range is freaking absurd. So we'll cross path that with the bottom path. And dude, I'm feeling confident with this one, boys. And we're gonna stop eco in here at 13,000 eco exactly. It's currently round 35. We only have $80,000, but we just spent a lot of our money just with upgrading everything. So I'm gonna have a homeland defense uh, ready to go set in stone in case he plans on rushing us anytime soon. But again, we need to get these tax years down, okay? All right, he's going to rush us here. I'm going to counter. Okay, with three. That should be enough. I don't even have to tower boost or anything. Actually, homeland. Because he's sending two. Glue storm two, because why not? Plus two damage for everything. We don't have to use science Gwen ability just yet. Because that would give us even more damage. Oh, yeah. We're shredding. Oh, yeah. We are freaking shredding. He's got to worry about his side, too. He's got to worry about his side, too. Attack Village Glue, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Doing wonders for us. We still have so much money, by the way. And I'm still upgrading these freaking overdrives. Oh my god. Okay, I think they're all upgraded now. So I probably could micro homeland, and I probably should. Yeah. I'd say so. So let's tower boost too on top of that. Because uh we had yet to tower boost. Oh wait, he shredded too though. Oh shoot. Okay, maybe I should have saved those. I did not expect him to defend, but. That's all he needed. Just a homeland defense, and then biker level 20, the mob assassins, triple damage on that. He's going to laugh. Yeah, th this he knows that he can't do anything. I mean, we still technically have even more room to fill up even more attack shooters, which is just crazy to think about, guys. Absolute freaking insanity. Let's go over another homeland, though. We could have microed glue storm, too, but yeah. He, he, just, he just stands no chance. Oh, yeah, I never even sold this replace it with an overdrive by the way can i get that oh okay i, I was gonna check the pop count dang it he just surrendered i made mean, dude tag village glue yeah if you make a late game especially on thin ice nothing your opponent is going to be able to do especially with us having thirteen thousand eco like he, he just let us eco with purples and i was like okay but in my opinion tack is still on top let me know what you guys think about the new tax shooter down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where this completely changes the Druid forever. Yes, in the most recent update, they also made some changes to the Druid. And if you don't know about it, you definitely don't want to miss this one.